What's going on, YouTube? It's James the Shire from Fantasy Battle Report. Got another battle report for you today. It's Hawkfist 2019, round number three. Guys, what is going on? And, um, this is James over here. I got another game for you today, and it's going to be against Mr. Brandon Phelps. Brandon Phelps, actually, last time I played him was probably like a year ago at Mayhem, Mountain Mayhem, Mountain Mayhem, which was run by his father, and, and Brandon wiped the floor with me. I got zero points on him. Uh, so, guys, I'm not going to lie. I haven't gotten a lot of battle reports in. I've been working two jobs right now. I'm also trying to uh, start up the t-shirt business that I mentioned a couple uh, months ago, and as well as that, I'm trying to open up my personal training studio into being a full-blown gym, so that way I could have memberships. Um, so that all being said, uh, I'm doing all this, guys. For the for those of you who are curious on why do I need to do all these side projects for cash, it's basically because my gym started, uh, uh, there was a fire like two months ago. It was exactly about two months ago from right now. Um, and it wasn't even a fire at my gym. It was a fire upstairs, but the gym got a lot of smoke and smog damage, which I had to close down, and I have lost business because of that, and basically just been playing catch up ever since. So, uh, between all these projects that I'm doing, I haven't really had time to do battle reports. And because I haven't done battle reports, I haven't really been itching for games. Uh, the only thing I have been doing lately is just kind of been playing D&D &D with the Juice Crew. And coincidentally, when I went to go play Brandon, uh, this night we talked about it after this game. And he started playing D&D &D with a bunch of guys from the Mid-Atlantic, which I think is fucking awesome and hilarious because they did the same exact mission we did. And I just thought that was crazy. Anyways, that's besides the point. That's D&D. &D. Let's go to the ninth page here. Let's go over this game. Let's go over what I have. Let's go over what Brandon has. And this game is the biggest pancake flip-flop I have ever seen. So let's get over it right now. All right. So first off, I got King Koopa. King Koopa is my fat bastard on the goblin uh, or on a gargantula spider. Um... If you don't know what he has, I'm sorry to tell you. I'm too lazy to tell you today. Um, I got 24 goblins here. I got with Baxter and Bazooka. Both of them are in the unit. I got my seven cave trolls here. I got my 23 iron orc Ed Basher or iron orcs. Uh, iron Dread Iron Legion, excuse me. Um, I got uh, Warboss Dread in that unit as well. I got the 26 feral orc Ed Bashers. I got my K pack. I got my goblin. Spider Riders. Uh, as for my opponent here, he has an Ogre Army. I'll show you the list right here. And these are his spells. Uh, he has Hand of Heaven, Wrath of God, Smite the Unbeliever. He has Children of Umi, Cleansing Fire, and Chilling Howl. So, uh, we are playing in circle. So he has the big flanks. I have the big center. Um, I went ahead and I, we're playing Flag Scenario, which is the one scenario that I'm like, I actually have a bonus on because it's really hard to get my units in this list. Uh, currently, I did switch the list up, so it's a little easier to get my units, unfortunately. But besides that, this list right now, it's hard to get. Uh, this is how we deployed. Ignore the, the wolves because the wolves are spider riders. They're going to uh, deploy a uh, scout still. But uh, he deployed. He has the two. He has the double... He has the Frost Mammoth and a Rock Rock. Rock Rock on the left with the Hunter. Uh, he's trying to hide his little Bruiser Darts because those will get uh, me easy points for flags. Um, he has the two Merc Blocks. He has the big Trisman Block. And that's basically it. That's His, his army's kind of heavy uh, with blocks. Uh, but the, it's really compact, actually, compared to mine. Mine's, like, spread out. Um, so there goes my Spider. My Spiders go up there, and I Vanguard out of his line inside of his Rock Rock. And uh, that's how we're going to start. He's going to Vanguard up with his Mammoth Hunter on the right. He has a uh, Mammoth Hunter and Mercenaries that are going to Vanguard up like so. Um, and it's going to go in and start off turn one, Ogre Cons. Ogre Cons, turn one. Uh, as you can see, he just kind of comes this way with the Rock Rock. His uh, Trisman and his Mercs come up towards the water. Uh, these other Mercs are walking right in front of my Savages. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. He, he thought about this for a while. I thought about this for a while. This is really dangerous. He could frenzy bait my savages, which I fucked that up. I, my savages are just outside of range by general. Um, if I go for the tiger, which I probably it depends if I fail that frenzy or not, he's gonna hit me hard. He's gonna hit me really fucking hard with the merc uh, unit and the mammoth hunter, and that's just, I, I honestly believe my savages just die there. Um, so I'm going to have to think about around that. But basically, Magic, he got a four on the flux. First thing he does, the first fucking spell he does, he rolls Wrath of God with four dice, and it pops up to a triple five, 
Woo! Which goes up to a triple six. He takes a couple wounds onto his fucking wizard. Gets the Wrath of God off right in front of the Black Orcs, and that's going to be that. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, he sh throws his fucking little, like, spear at my fucking uh, K-Pack here. Does a wound. And it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn number one. Orcs and Goblins turn number one. They fail the fucking frenzy, and they're going in. I know I said fuck sev several times already. Uh, how many points is a Tiger? 80? All right. So the uh, savages are going to go into the tiger, kill that tiger, and that's going to be that. Uh, what I do is I back up the K-Pack to kind of watch that Mammoth Hunter. It's kind of a far charge for him to get in. Uh, turn the trolls to face that Mammoth Hunter as well, but as well kind of kind of fan out that way so if anything comes closer. I move my Spider Riders onto his side, and I kept on making the jokes saying the Spider Riders have switched sides, that they're facing me. Uh, but basically, I'm just putting them in a future spot so that way if I need to chaff anything, they're they're available um i in my current list i actually just gave them some tomahawks because throwing weapons will help do some damage instead of them just standing there uh my black orcs move up my my bgks move up it's kind of dangerous because that rock rock can just charge and kill me kill me with a lot of stuff uh magic got a eight on the flux go ahead and i do a fireball does two wounds out to the tribesmen go ahead and i do a scorching salvo uh and it goes off ends up killing off a couple more tribesmen does a couple wounds onto those tribesmen up there the little or bruiser dart, i should say and that was really it my savages kill the tiger and it i face the front and it's gonna start off turn two turn two ogre cons ogre cons turn two he's gonna go ahead and charge his mammoth hunter downhill into my trolls i didn't understand this at first until he's like it's a troll leader mammoth hunter i was like oh fuck now this guy does have like a uh, two up five up or a two up, no he has a two up four up two up four up because of the troll leader so it's basically going to be like who can make more regens uh and he gets in boom all right he doesn't go for the savages which i found surprising he actually tries to avoid the savages which i found surprising we talked about it afterwards like should he have just charged in i told him yes i said you should have just charged into the savages i'm pretty sure he kills all the savages the big money changer here is battle focus if he doesn't kill enough bodies and i hit him back with battle focus i'm gonna wreck his unit um but he gets in here magic he gets uh six on the flux goes ahead and he gives this guy children of umi so it's harder to wound him and he gives me smite the unbeliever to affect my strength um it doesn't really matter because at this point i'm just going to go ahead and do the special attack and the special attack won't be affected by this smite the unbeliever um the comet comes down he was so worried that if the comet came down it's going to kill his mammoth hunter it didn't do a single wound to him it, what it did do though is it killed off a couple of my black orcs four black orcs killed off one forest goblin and that's it really that is it um and two wounds onto my trolls um so, uh, combat with the trolls. He goes ahead and he swings away at the trolls, and I made my regents, and he's like, shit. I go ahead and I do six pukes, and he made his regents. I might have done one wound to him, might have, but nothing happens, and we were like, holy shit. That was crazy. That was crazy. All right. Um, actually, I take it back. He did kill one. He killed one troll. And I did one wound. There it goes. That was an updated picture. And it's going to start off turn two. Turn two, orcs and goblins. Uh, i to give you guys a three-second warning on a three, two, one. Wog! So I wog. Now, I charge the K-Pack that was... i got to show you this picture here. The K-Pack was behind the trolls into these mercs that were in the uh, by the water up here. And boom! They get in. That's all the wog was for. That was all the wog was really for. Uh, the savages and the mercs on the other side, I think they're out of each other's line of sight. I move my black orcs up aggressively, but not too aggressively, because I gotta keep them in range of, of his um, mammoth hunter here. And uh, Koopa and the goblins are keeping his rock rock at a, at a long leash basically he has to stay pretty far away to not get charged vice versa but he does have the, the charge off the hill if he wants to go in i i think it was like an 11 charge maybe maybe an 11 maybe a 12 but it's a pretty damn far charge um i move the spider riders up to chaff his his uh tribesmen so that way my black horse kind of move up comfortably and 
as you can see, I actually just walked out of his line of sight of his mercenaries uh, to start threatening everything else and see what he does and, and just basically waste his turn overall because I was actually not confident that my savages would have fought his mercs. Hindsight is 20 probably should have. Whatever. Magic! Got a 5 on the flux. Go ahead and I do flaming swords. I did it with 4 dice and he used all his dice to try to stop it and I fucking get it. I got it by like 1. I got it like by 1 fucking dice extra or like one pip I should say so I get it off uh, shooting over here I'm gonna go ahead and shoot everything into his oh I also got Oaken thrown up uh, I shoot into his uh, tries his bruiser dart to get the flag scenario I kill one this is great that puts me up right now he hasn't killed any of my blocks I killed one of his for scoring um, over here impact hits Woo! <laughs> By the way, I lost one K-Pack member because of the forest. I'd lost it from DTs. But I got a 13 impact hits on on this fucking unit with flaming swords. You know how many wounds I did? 13! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Dude, I did 13 hits, 13 wounds. That was insane! Uh... He, and then the dogs go and the fucking goblins go and they kill off one more. He killed off one of my chariots. Uh, that guy's going to run for sure. I'm going to chase him down. He does get away, which this kind of sucked, to be honest, because it could change a lot of things. Um, over here, uh, he does like a wound to me. I do a wound to him. Nothing really happens. He sticks. And uh, let's start off uh, Ogre Khan's turn number three. Ogre Khan, turn number three. He's going to try the long ass charge. He's going to try the long ass charge with, with his rock rock to my fucking uh, Koopa. He needs a 11 to get in. He rolls a fucking 12. He rolled a fucking 12. Holy shit. Holy shit. I did not think he was going to make this. I swear to God, but he rolled a 12. Um, his his halber, or his mercenary keeps running with the halberds. Uh, keeps running, and he ends up moving his frost mammoth in the way here to uh, chaff me from just pushing him off the table, right? Um, over here, he walks back this way to tr start threatening the troll's flank. Uh, if the trolls are stuck with his troll leader guy for longer. Uh, and then Magic, he got an 8 on the flux. Magic, I don't really know what he did. Doesn't look like he did much. Uh, close combat. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Close combat. Let's do the impact hits. Impact hits. He goes ahead and he does it. He only gets five impact hits. Out of those five impact hits, he got two wounds. Holy shit! Holy shit! He's like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "This always happens." I was like, "I don't know, man." But Koopa's a fat, lucky bastard. Ah, ah, ah. Koopa goes back and suck, 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 suck. Poison, 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 poison. I did four fucking wounds. Now his Rock Rock and his Mammoth Hunter go back and end up doing like six more wounds. But he's just like, son of a bitch. I'm going to lose him before I get to swing. Um, over here, close combat. The Trolls puke on him again. Does another wound. And now, in all honesty, I'm failing like the four ups. I'm getting like one, 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 four, five. So I'll get like two. He'll make one regen. One goes through. That's why it's only doing like one a t turn. If I were to get maybe like one or two extra, he probably would have been dead. Um, it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn three. Orcs and Goblins turn three. My Goblins here charge in. And he's like, why? I'm like, whatever. Either you're going to kill Koopa or not. The point is, if Koopa whiffs, the spider whiffs, maybe the Goblins will kill you. Maybe. You know, because maybe I only need one wound. Who knows? Right? Uh, get a one on the flux, and basically I go ahead and I do flaming swords onto my goblins here. He lets it go through, and then as soon as the combat starts, he goes, challenge. I'm like, son of a bitch. So Koopa goes for it, and Koopa ends up just killing him anyways. It was a waste of flaming swords. Um, and, uh, yeah, my black orcs up here, they actually ch charged up to his tribesman block. Now, here's the deal. Uh, let me show you this picture. Oh, well, you can kind of make it here. I charged it. He has his general, his BSB in that unit, and a bunch of tribesmen. I'm not too worried about it. He doesn't have a Liger's Tongue, and even if he did have a Liger's Tongue, I could turn it off with the Magical uh, Banner, Mykonox Totem. Right, so I go in. My general, uh, I don't think I challenged. This round, I did not challenge at all. I just He's like, you have a champ? I go, yeah, whatever. So he doesn't challenge. Uh, he goes ahead and he kills off only six Black Orcs, right, which isn't bad. I end up killing off three of his guys, so he loses combat. 
Um, and he is not steadfast, but I didn't do much. I think he loses by like one, maybe, because he has a banner, BSB, rank, uh, six wounds, which is nine. Uh, I have a charge banner and probably nine wounds. So he lost by two. Okay. So, uh, either way, uh, I should have challenged. Either way, though. He's going to stick. Now, I chaffed him on the right with my Spider Riders. My Spider Riders walked right into the front of those Frost Mammoth. Basically, this should allow me to um, basically pull ahead in this combat, right? So, start off his turn. Ogre Khan's turn number four. Ogre Khan's turn number four. He charges here. Now, my general's right in that unit. I need, I'm a leadership nine. I should be fine, right? No, I fucking fail it. I roll 12. He redirects, and he get, goes into the flank of my black orcs. Okay. Now, as you can see, my trolls actually killed his fucking troll leader this round. So that, first off, <laughs> troll leader. <laughs> he was trolled by trolls. The crazy part about troll leader, though, and the reason why he did it was if he charged in, if he does a wound, it does double the wounds on standard monstrous infantry so basically it is supposed to eat the trolls the problem is i kept making my regen saves and he would do maybe two wounds maybe two wounds so as you can see he only has killed a total of three uh and i eventually puked him to death so he's gonna go and throw his merc mercs into the trolls problem is the trolls are are grinded down a bit now um he charges it to the flank up there that's how it looks uh and Magic, magic out of five on the flux goes in and he does cleansing fire here. This fucking hurts. Um, he did another comet here. The comet came down, kills off four of my goblins. Um, over here to close combat with the cleansing fire, with the fucking attacks. He ends up killing off, uh, does nine wounds on some of my trolls, which doesn't sound like a lot. It should be more, but you gotta imagine, I made about half. No, 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 I didn't make half. This was the infamous roll. So he did. He did, say, 12 wounds, okay? And at this point, I have a 6-up armor and a 4-plus regen, okay? So I'm like, I'm f freaking out. Like, this could make or break the trolls. This could make or break the trolls. So I'm like, let me get Phil Carl's dice. So I go up to Phil Carl. Phil Carl, let me use your dice because his dice always roll 5-up. And he's like, oh, you need 5-ups? Uh, I'll give you these. I really only need 4-ups, right? So I grab 12 of his dice. I roll them. And I fucking roll worse than I would have with my own dice. I ended up rolling all 1s and 2s. Only made 3 five, 4-pluses. Only 3. And he's like, well, I guess my dice only work for me. And you know what? I accept that. I accept that I used somebody else's dice and I didn't get the result I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. So he fucks up my trolls. My trolls really get fucked up. I might have hit one back. He overruns, but he can't overrun into my flank of my guys. And basically that really fucks me up. Now, up here at close combat, he or magic, he ended up getting this might be unbeliever off of my my black orcs, lowering my toughness because he did it randomly. Uh, my general challenge is out. He gives me his champ. I kill his champ, right? Which, okay, but he fucks me up. He kills all my black orcs before I get to swing because the frost mammoth is slowing me down. And not only does he do that, but he's going to run down my general and he runs this way, which allows his frost mammoth to catch the fleeing spiders. So he gets those points. And um, his tr uh, tribesmen basically pin in my forest goblins. My forest goblins cannot do shit. They cannot do shit. I can't run to the left because the, the mercs over there. Can't run to the right because the rock or, or the frost mammoth and the tribesmen are there. I'm in a very, very shitty spot. Right? It's going to start off my turn. Orcs and goblins turn number four. Orcs and goblins turn number four. I have a fucking Hail Mary. I have a fucking Hail Mary. I'm going to charge Koopa into his flank. Now, I don't care who he gives me. If he gives me his general, his general's halfway dead already. If I get his BSB, either way, I'll have a charge, a flank, a big flank, and hopefully, like, four to five wounds. Just just say four wounds, which is seven combat res. He won't have shit. He'll have, like, a banner if I kill this guy, right? So, I should be able to destroy his general, his BSB's unit, whatever, right? So, Koopa gets in. Boom! Come on, Koopa! I put him right here, so that way, if I kill these bastards, I'm going to run into that frost mammoth, right? So I'm like, I got this shit. I got this shit. You're gonna fucking die, motherfucker. <clears throat> <clears throat> My K-Pack charged into his um, 
bridge dart on the right to try to get the objective just in case. Um, and my goblins on the left are just shooting at his tribesmen over our bruisers on the left. My savages turn around to face his mercs. Well, close combat over here. This is the moment of truth. The moment of fucking truth. <sighs> he challenges with his BSB. His BSB has like five attacks, strength five. All right. He is swinging at the same time as me because the frost mammoth is knocking down my initiative. He gets two fucking wounds. I failed both armor saves and fucking Koopa died. God damn it! Are you fucking kidding me? I did one wound to him too. I did one wound which I didn't even connect the dots there. Uh, BSB was 260. He has what? Four wounds? Whatever 260 divided by four is. That's how much Koopa gets for this turn. God damn Koopa. Oh, does that... You know how bad that sucks? You know how bad that sucks? Because now it's his turn, turn five. Or, yeah, it's turn five. And he just turns around and charges my goblins. My goblins run, and he catches me anyways. And uh, magic, he gets a one on the flux. Uh, nothing really happens. He triple six something. Oh! Oh, I forgot about this! I forgot about it! Holy shit! Holy shit! He tries to do a hand of heaven to... Uh, scare off my goblins or a wrath of god i don't even remember what he did but when he rolled the dice it's the one phase and he triple six it. he got the six six and a one and i go re-roll the one blow your fucking wizard up and he's like no nah, come on man i was like do it do it and he re-rolls it and he gets the six blows up his fucking wizard that wizard's dead holy shit my last turn basically before i just quit anyways i charge here and i fail this charge again it's going to be, I have to add points here, but man, it was a fucking ugly game. Uh, I had it. I, I mean, you saw it. You guys watched that battle report. He said it himself. I said it myself. On turn two or three, I could have told him I had a 20, you know, and he'd be like, okay. I swear to God, it was just like, I, I fucked him up pretty hard. Let's give Koopa his 65 points for doing good damage on the BSB. And then let's give, somebody has... I guess it's the green guard. The green guard gets 240 points. Or no, no. It's 480 divided by that. Times that by three wounds left. And he gets the, they get the additional general bonus. So the green guard got 560 points there. <laughs> For his wizard blowing up on him. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's fucking horrible. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That's just, yeah. Anyways, um, so it went from like a 20 and 0 for me to that round three, round four, where the fucking, it all crumbled where the spider riders failed their chaff. Once the spider riders failed their chaff, it really, really made me want to think maybe I should take squig uh, hoppers. They don't fucking flee. Because this is not the first time this has happened to me on ogres. This happened to me against uh, Shannon Powell as well. Um, but them fleeing cost me basically the game. Uh, I, I would have grinded his fucking unit of, uh, of, of tribesmen down with my black orcs, no problem. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. So, that being said, uh, he knocked me down. He killed my general, he killed my BSB, he killed my wizard. He killed most of my army now. Killed Koopa. Uh, he killed everything except for like the savages now i did get the objective i did kill his mercenaries with the halberds i did kill his bruiser dart right so i got two units where he only killed my one unit he tried to charge long charges into the green guard but he failed so the green guard kept me the objective okay uh i did kill his general i did kill a good chunk of his army i think this score was like an 11 9 and i got the nine because he killed more of my shit than I killed to his. Even though it was a bloody ass game, uh, I think he pulled ahead in points, but I got the objective, so it was 11-9 loss for me. Um, and uh, yeah, that was just, that was a very interesting game. Uh, it was actually really fun. I had a lot of fun playing this guy. Uh, it was much funner than the last time. Last time I played him, I was a crabby ass. I was like, it's bullshit, it's bullshit. Uh, this time I was just like, oh my god, I don't even know what happened. He was like, I don't know what happened. I was like, yep. Uh, so let's go over MVP here. MVP, now I'm a little torn. I'm a little torn because MVP should be honestly 
the K pack for destroying his halberdier unit and getting me the fucking uh, objective, right? But so did the Green Guard. The Green Guard actually blew up his wizard on accident. So uh, I'm going to give it the K pack because the K pack was planned. You know, they got 620 points. But the Green Guard did a really good job at doing nothing. They charged a rock rock and the rock rock died, and they got the general to blow up on trying to blow them up. So, I gotta say the Green Guard did an honorable mention for doing nothing and getting six, more points than everybody else for doing something. Um, overall, you can see that Dreads Iron Legion is at 1,100 points uh, for the total so far for three rounds. Uh, the BGKs are actually at 1,200, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, how are they? Yeah, they're at 1,200. Uh, Koopa's at 1,200. Koopa's slightly in the lead, actually. Nope, the Green Guard is... What the fuck?! The green guard has 1,600 points? What the fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense! There are 180 points, and guys, there goes the shy ambulance. But there are 180 point goblin unit. Why do they have more points than my 600 point fucking spider monster? What the fuck? Or my trolls. Jesus Christ. What's going on here? This is like freaking bizarre world. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. My next opponent is Jeremy Gotchalk playing an Asklander army. So I'll get to that when I get to that. Um, guys, I'm going to try to get those last two battle reports before I go to uh, Pacific Rim. That's my next tournament that I'm going to in December. Uh, so thank God. I mean, like, you can look in this picture here with Jeremy sticking up his finger. You can see how cold and dreary it is in the Midwest. You can see everybody in sweaters in the background indoors, okay? It's fucking cold. Going to Pacific Rim in December, it's gonna be glorious because it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be like I'm on vacation, even though I really can't afford a vacation. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this battle report. I enjoyed making it. If you guys do, hit like, hit share, subscribe. If you guys can, you can always go to my Patreon link, help support uh, this channel because honestly, I need some support just telling you guys right now i'm i'm a broke ass dealing with broke ass problems anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this take care and until next time take care and peace